the one and only, the last of their kind, are still here. An exhibition by photographer and journalist Christiane Flechtner. A project of Stabstelle Bildung für nachhaltige Entwicklung, Abteilung Stadtentwicklung, Bauen und Umwelt des Bezirksamtes Charlottenburg-Wilmersdorf. On our doorstep. Our local nature has suffered heavy losses over the centuries. There are hardly any wild forests, untouched areas and regions left which have not been influenced by us humans. Here too, the extinction of species is progressing relentlessly. The number of insects alone has declined by 75%, yet they are important for the entire ecosystem. Year after year, more and more birds, hedgehogs and other animals that need insects to live die of starvation. The few remaining green spaces are shrinking, especially around big cities, due to new housing developments and connecting roads. Forests have to give way for new highway junctions, wetlands are drained for new settlements. As a result, around 430 square kilometers of nature disappear every year in Germany, an area larger than Cologne. That is 118 hectares, more than 165 football fields per day. In more than half of the developed areas, the soil is completely blocked. All natural functions are lost in the process. The earth can no longer store water, plants and animals lose habitat. The red list shows the dramatic decline in biodiversity for Germany. The main culprit is habitat loss, but also the damage and fragmentation of existing habitats, especially through conversion for agriculture. Our conventional agriculture reduces biodiversity. Habitats are destroyed, soils are depleted. Fertilizers, pesticides and herbicides pollute soil and water. A naturally functioning ecosystem no longer exists here. Our wild animals are largely extinct. When the lynx, wolf and bear return to their original habitat, they are not always welcome. Yet they belong here and are strictly protected as endangered species. The Hedgehog I know you from my garden. Yes, as a brown-breasted hedgehog, I live throughout Germany and also in many parts of Europe. My fellow hedgehogs and I are perfectly adapted to our environment. We are solitary animals and usually stay out of each other's way. In the past, we lived everywhere in Germany, but hedges and groves and meadows have disappeared more and more due to intensive agriculture. Today, we like to come into your gardens all the more. We are often closer than you realize. So why haven't I seen you so often lately? Life is becoming more and more dangerous for us. We can curl up into a ball when we are in danger. But on the outside, we only have 6,000 to 8,000 sharp spines to protect us from foxes, martens, badgers or owls. But they do not protect us from fast cars. And so, between 100,000 and 250,000 of my fellow hedgehogs die on the road every year. What do you like to eat? At night and at dusk, we forage for insects, earthworms, isopods, earwigs and frogs. But we also eat fruit, berries or bird's eggs. Even mice and snakes taste good to us. When humans use poison against pests, This also harms us. What you call pests, for example, snails or caterpillars, are delicious for us. Why are you endangered? It is not only the cars that are dangerous to us, but also the new robotic lawnmowers that automatically drive through your gardens and cut the grass. Their sharp blades can seriously injure us. 
What can we do to help you? Excessive tidying in the garden and poisons are harming us. We ask you to leave the pile of leaves, cut branches or the pile of wood in the garden. A little mess ensures our survival in the winter. The rainforest. There are approximately 10 million square kilometers of tropical rainforest on Earth. Tropical rainforests are found around the equator in South America, Africa, South Asia and parts of Oceania up to about the 10th meridian. The largest continuous tropical rainforest areas are in the Amazon lowlands, the Congo Basin and Southeast Asia. More than a quarter of all trees worldwide grow here. Rainforests are characterized by a particularly high diversity of species. About two-thirds of all known animal and plant species live there and more new species are discovered every year. As many as 280 different tree species have been found on one hectare of rainforest. Rainforests are therefore true biodiversity hotspots. But they are also carbon dioxide accumulators and are therefore of great importance in the fight against climate change. Their preservation is therefore of great importance in many aspects. Nevertheless, about 9 million hectares of tropical rainforests are lost worldwide every year, the equivalent of the area of Portugal, every year. This means that an entire football field of this unique habitat is destroyed every 2.5 seconds. The threat of the tropical rainforest and its biodiversity has many different causes. It is the unrestricted consumption by our industrial nations that fuels the clearing and destruction of the rainforest, whether it's palm oil, paper, soya, meat or cocoa. There is a piece of rainforest for everything. So we can make a difference by rethinking our consumption. Then the home of the orangutan, pangolin, slow lorries or others will be preserved. The pangolin. You look strange, as if you were from the prehistoric times and had been living among the dinosaurs. What kind of animal are you? I'm a pangolin. Some people also say I look like a big pine cone. The name describes me very well, because there are countless scales on the top of my body. They protect me like an armor. And we look so prehistoric because our species has been around since prehistoric times. So my ancestors really did meet dinosaurs. Where do you come from? I come from a dense rainforest in Vietnam, which is in Asia, but there are all other pangolin species that are native to Africa. What do you like to eat? I don't have any teeth, but I have a long tongue. Therefore, I'm very picky and only eat termites and their eggs. Termites live in a large termite burrow above and below ground. With my digging claws and my long tongue, I can easily get into the tunnels and reach the tasty morsels. You seem invincible with your scale armor, but you are still endangered. Why is that? Even though I have my scale armor and I curl up into a ball when I'm in danger, I'm not protected from humans. In Africa, people especially like my meat, and that's why they hunt me there. In Asia, many people believe that my scales can cure diseases, and that's why I'm hunted and captured. But how can your scales cure diseases? I do not know that either, because they are made of keratin. That is the same substance your hair and fingernails are made of. How can we help you and your species? I and all pangolin species are strictly protected, so anyone who captures us can be severely punished. It is also forbidden to sell our scales. That's why we are hunted less. 
Savanna and forests. The savanna is another important habitat, a natural vegetation zone of the tropical summer rainfall areas. The term savanna is derived from Spanish sabana, which translates as grassy plain. Savannas adjoin the tropical rainforest on both sides of the equator. Here they form a broad transition zone between the enclosed forests and the tropics and the deserts of the subtropics. The savannas themselves are grasslands with a mostly sparse vegetation cover. They are found in Africa, South and Central America, Northern Australia, India and Southeast Asia. Forests are also found in Asia as well as in Europe and America. The forests has many functions. Several thousand different species of animals and plants can be found in the forest, also, also in our country. Wild boars, deer, foxes, mice, squirrels and numerous bird species live here. But forests are often cleared to make way for villages and towns or roads. Humans interfere with the ecosystem through forestry and timber industry. The forests are exploited, animals are disturbed and habitats are destroyed. Most parts of the savannas are also used by humans today. As early as 1000 years ago, nomadic herders let their flocks graze in the savannas. Increasing overgrazing is leading to the destruction of large areas, especially in Africa. The growing population is also a problem, as settlements displace nature and roads cut through more and more formerly natural areas. This also applies to the different types of forests on this planet. Eucalyptus forests in Australia have been systematically destroyed over the past centuries. There are hardly any suitable habitats left for the koalas. In addition, there is climate change. Summers that are too hot and dry damage the trees and cause them to die. Savannas are becoming increasingly desolate and dry. But humans are slowly changing their ways in many areas. They are letting parts of the forests take care of themselves and no longer intervene. Savanna areas have often been converted into reservations or national parks that are specially protected. This is a step in the right direction that more need to follow. The elephant. You are enormous and you do not fit through my front door at all. Yes, that's true. With a size of up to four meters and a weight of 8,000 kilograms, we are the largest animals on earth. We have the biggest head, the longest trunk and the biggest brain. Where do you come from? I come from the savannah of Africa, but there are also elephants in Asia. However, they have smaller ears than we do. Besides, only the bulls, the males, have tasks there. I heard you can hear with your feet. Yes, that's true. Not only can I hear with them, but I can also speak. The soles of my feet are so sensitive that they can perceive sound waves. And if I stomp my feet hard on the ground, I can communicate with my family over long distances. But don't you use your ears to hear? We also hear with our ears, but we use them primarily as fans. When the sun burns hot on my head, I pump blood into my ears. By moving the ears back and forth, the blood cools down and then flows lukewarm back into my body. You are also called a thick skin. Are you particularly protected? Not really. We are called that, but our skin is very sensitive. To protect ourselves from the sun, we throw sand on our backs with our trunks. But we cannot protect ourselves from humans. My family and the elephants in Asia are hunted for our tasks. They are made of ivory. It is very expensive and popular for carvings, sculptures and jewelry. But our homes are also endangered because people are building their villages, fields and roads where we have lived for thousands of years. 
In addition, we are exploited as working elephants in Asia and are chained to our feet our whole lives. How can we help you and your species? I and all other elephant species, the savannah and forest elephant in Africa and the Asian elephants are strictly protected. Yet we are still hunted by poachers for our ivory, but there are more and more people and organizations that watch out for us to keep us safe. The sea. Water is the source of all life. It is the elixir of life and the source of strength. It flows, is a life, always in motion. It represents clarity and purity. Water carves its own path and in this way shapes the world over time, ensuring slow but constant change. Water is our elixir of life. Even our body consists of 60 to 75% of it. We cannot exist without water. 71% of our earth is covered in water. Our oceans are thus the habitat for millions of animals, plants and organisms. Of the approximately 8.7 million species of organisms, about 2.2 million are marine animals, from microbes to blue whales. Each individual species contributes in its own way to maintaining the natural balance. For example, the marine flora produces around 70% of the oxygen pre present in the Earth's atmosphere, which we need to live. But human influences are disrupting this delicate balance. Global warming is causing poles and glaciers to melt. The sea level is rising and the salt water content is changing. This has fatal consequences. Shorelines and beaches are being swallowed up by water. This also means that the Gulf Stream in the Atlantic, the important circulation system of the world's oceans, is slowing down. Discharged chemicals and over-fertilized water are poisoning the oceans. And there is now more plastic waste than fish in the world's ocean. The almost indestructible material can now be found everywhere on our planet, even in the deep sea. Due to the extreme overfishing of the oceans, important species are disappearing to maintain the balance of the seas. 90% of the larger marine species have disappeared and the rest have to struggle against rubbish, overfishing and hunting on a daily basis. A change in mindset is urgently needed if we want to preserve the oceans and their diverse life. The establishment of marine protected areas is only one possibility. Better waste separation, including plastic reduction, is another. Likewise, we should finally look at a more radical limitation of fishing, a more environmentally friendly agriculture without pesticides and an end to factory farming. The shark. Where do you come from? We are among the oldest animals in the world and there are around 500 different species of us. Sharks have been around for 400 million years. We live in all the world's oceans, even in the North Sea near where you live. That's where the smaller species like the spiny dogfish live. There are many terrible films about you. Are you really so dangerous? Actually, we are not very dangerous to humans. Did you know that more people die from coconuts falling down on them than from us? Many of us are afraid of you. And we, av and we avoid you when you swim in the sea. But of course, we are predators and very skilled hunters. That is not true for all species, though. Whale sharks and basking sharks only feed on small creatures in the water, the plankton. What do you eat? We are also called the garbage cans of the sea, because we eat sick, old and also dead marine animals. To be able to catch and crush them, we have special set of teeth, 
with several rows. If some teeth fall out, the other rows move to replace them. This is practical. We never have a gap between our teeth like you do. Over the course of a lifetime, we use about 30,000 teeth. By the way, our skin is made of the same material as our teeth, not of normal scales, but of small skin teeth. Why are you so endangered if your body is made of teeth? We have enemies too. Smaller sharks, for example, are eaten by stingrays and larger sharks, by seals or killer whales. In addition, some sharks have to be 30 years old or more before they can have offspring. But humans with their huge fishing nets are even worse. We get caught in them too. We are also on the menu in many fish shops and especially in Asia, our fins are considered a delicacy. But without our fins, we can no longer swim and we die. So many of our species are threatened with extinction. How can we protect you? It is simple, don't eat us. The belly flap of the spiny dogfish is sold at fish markets in Germany and is called either sea eel or curled strip of smoked dogfish. It is best to avoid this.